Well, I have the, the pleasure now to, to be with Mosen. He's one of the best friends of Ubaid since they were very little. And he's a police inspector right here. A lot of experience. And I want to get your honest opinion of the situation right now uh, regarding safety in Pakistan. How is it right now? What, what is your, your thought on this? Like, uh, Pakistan is a safe country for tourists. Uh, maybe a few years back, uh, due to the uh, Afghanistan war, uh, the, ter uh, the Taliban flew to our areas. They, make, they made it unsafe. But like our army has conducted a few successful operations, and they have eradicated terrorism and all those Taliban from here. So it's like very safe now. So there is no conflict. It's actually like no war, conflict, or anything going no, on in Pakistan. There is no war, conflict, any, any, nothing here in Pakistan. It's perfectly safe. And it's perfectly safe. Uh, a common misconception right now, uh, people do not really understand what's going on in Kashmir. There is a part of Pakistan, a part of India, but uh, especially Europeans, I think it's a very unknown conflict. Can you briefly explain a little bit what is well, the situation? Uh, Jammu and Kashmir, it, it is an uh, area between uh, Pakistan and India, and it's like uh, we, uh, Pakistani claim it's as their territory. Indians claim uh, it's their, their part. So uh, there have been a few wars on Kashmir between Pakistan and India in the past. Uh, the issue is very simple. There is a very simple solution to it. Let's uh, decide. Let's go with the will of the Kashmiri people. And that is the perfect solution to it. Because they have been uh, a long time in war. So no, not a long time in war. We have fought like two very short wars on Kashmir and the uh, problem is lying pending uh, with the United Nations. Uh, we have the United Nations resolutions on this problem and the resolution says that the issue should be solved according to the will of the people of Kashmir. So Pakistani people want to let Kashmir decide what is their future? Yeah, we, we, want, we want the solution according to the resolution of United Nations. Okay, okay, okay. So, thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining the trip, man. It's been great, the great company. Well, uh, pleasure has been ours. Shukriya. Shukriya thank you for visiting us. We thank hope you. you visit us again. Okay. Hi, guys. I have the pleasure now to be with Tala. He's been a really important and amazing part of the group during this trip. Thank you, man. Like, you were able to show me in three, four days this amazing valley, Hanza. Like, I totally recommend it. So. Salam Hello, Tala, Lord thanks, Salam. thanks a lot for agreeing to be here. No, the player is mine. And yeah, I, I just want to ask you a, a few questions. You've been like a lot of years traveling here as a tourist guide, as a personal traveler. You yeah. like this valley a lot, Hansa. So yeah. it is really booming right now. For example, we're sitting in some igloos. That is a resort was here like maybe six months ago, wasn't yeah. here. So how do you think this amazing lake will change or all of this Hansa area? the pros and cons of this tourism that's happening here? I think the, uh, we have been through rough times, but uh, the tour we have now, Pakistan is very safe to travel. And uh, I think that uh, we need, uh, we are developing it a little bit for more, so that uh, more of the tourists can come here and explore Pakistan. And the good thing is that uh, Pakistan is mostly in natural form, and uh, we want some foreign tourists to come here and uh, give us uh, their opinions about how to develop it. And it would be very nice for you people to come here and uh, tell us more about how to grow sustainable tourism around here. Thus, uh, this valley, this is a very beautiful valley. This is one of the very beautiful valleys around here. And uh, uh, I think that first you should uh, come know about the, this is because this valley we have both uh, historical, some historical points to visit and some uh, very nice views to see. And I think that uh, one should uh, come to Pakistan and uh, let us give, give us your opinions and give us your views to how to grow it sustainably. Nice. So talking about, about the views, we are probably in one of the most amazing views of, yeah. of all hands. I think we can say that. Yeah. We're not a bad lake. I, I got a brief uh, explanation that this lake was not here some years before. Can you uh, yeah, yeah. introduce? Yeah, I'll tell you about this lake. This lake wasn't here uh, uh, before 2010. In, uh, in 2010, there was an earthquake 
um, which caused the landsliding and the landscape to arrange and to create a water blockage. And so the river water uh, could, uh, rose up and this lake came into view. And uh, it is, a, as you can see, it is a very beautiful lake. Mm. And, uh, but the, the thing is, because it is at a very high altitude, so it won't be here for long because the water level decreases every year and maybe in 20, 30, next 20, 25 years the areas uh, will change a little bit okay, yeah. and the water level may go down. But you should visit it when it's there. So people, people should hurry up to, yeah, to visit, to visit Hansa Valley. Yeah. So what, what about this? If, uh, I am sure some friends will want to visit Pakistan after I show them all the pictures yeah. and videos. So. I, I, you told me that you're going to Germany for your MBA, like yeah. congratulations right. for that. But if I have some friends that want to come here and Ubaid or you are not here, uh, what do you recommend? Because it's nice to travel with the locals, you know? Yeah, I, do, I, I would like to recommend that well, once you plan to come to Pakistan, it's better that you uh, plan it for some, with some local uh, locals around here. Uh, you can contact the Pakistan Development Corporation. Uh, they can help you out with that. They can suggest you some good uh, people, good guides, and they can also arrange the trips for you. Because it's when you come to uh, another place, I think it's similar in Europe also that it's better to get a person who is locally, of course, yeah. who has no, no knowledge about this lo local area, because it helps you. Even when I travel, I I like to when I'm going to a new valley, I like to travel with a local person there on that of that valley, because they know better about those places and they can tell you more about their history and their how they, they are uh, living their lives and their lifestyle. So it's better that if you come with a person who knows about it, he can save you a lot of time and uh, he can show you a lot of places in a short span. Plus he can help you and guide you and he can tell you more about it than you can get, uh, find it on Google. Because we are, there are a lot of valleys, there are a lot of places in Pakistan that uh, are yet unexplored and people, local people only know about it. There's no information about it on online. So it's better to find yeah. those people and get to know about these places with them. And this can be all arranged uh, with the Pakistani government? Yeah, can this contact. can all be arranged with Pakistani government because they, yes. uh, they are working on that. Uh, now they have also, uh, uh, the new government has been working tirelessly on this and they have introduced that uh, the e-visa for more than 170 countries plus you have, we have 50 countries on arrival visa. Uh, that has eased, eased up a lot of trouble because earlier we, there was very, it was very difficult to get Pakistan visa and to come here and to travel here. But now it's very easy and uh, we need people like you to come here and visit this place and give us your opinions and give us your views how to build it yeah. more sustainably without destroying the natural beauty of it. I hope this happens, man. I hope yeah. this happens. Shukriya. Thank you very much, um, Shukriya. Man, this trip would have been possible without you. You're yeah. like in three days, you've shown me all of the stuff you were posted. Like it, it, it has been amazing. It has been amazing, and thank to you to all of you. Thank you, you man. Like the play is mine. The best uh, company I could. I hope you ask. had the best time of your. Uh, yeah, year. of course, man. Of course. <laughs> I tried my best to get to that. Thank you so oh, much. Welcome.